And every Tuesday, traffic anchor Jason Luber answers a viewer's question about something driving you crazy. So Jason's here. Jason, this week a viewer wants to know how CDOT can expand I-25 in downtown Denver when the city is building so close to yeah, the highway. Yeah, it's JT yeah. who says what's driving him crazy is knowing the freeways like I-25 need to be widened again at some point, in his opinion. Why is new construction allowed to be built right next to the highway? He specifically mentions I-25 between Broadway and University and I-25 between the stadium and 20th Avenue. This is the second area he's talking about right here where there are apartments and businesses right next to the highway. CDOT says local jurisdictions, in this case Denver, determines how far back buildings should be from the highway. CDOT only looks at how much space is needed for travel and maintenance and widening is no longer the only option. When CDOT expanded I-25 South uh, Broadway years ago and now with that Central I-70 project, they paid people living next to the highway to move. CDOT can use eminent domain, but it's strict regulated by both state and federal laws and transportation alternatives like bike paths and bus lanes and shoulder utilization are now evolving and must be considered. Those are all options on the table as CDOT is finalizing their improvement study of I-25 between Alameda and 20th Street. The problem is that even though CDOT has a plan to fix I-25 in downtown Denver and replace some bridges, they don't have the money to do any of the work. Wow. I explain much more of that work to be done, including replacing the Spear Bridge and 23rd Avenue Bridge, uh, as well as eminent domain. It's all on the online version of the story right now. Just click the ta traffic tab on the DenverChannel.com and then driving you crazy. Time to go double-decker. Uh, <laughs> right, yeah. sure. No money. All right, thank you, Jason.